Hello, my name is Andrea Palmer and I am the Fiscal and Grants Manager for the Housing Department in the City of Oxnard. Here to present the Home American Rescue Allocation Plan or for short, Home ARP. In 2021, federal legislation was passed to continue aid in the response to the coronavirus, known as the American Rescue Plan. The funding discussed in this presentation has been awarded to the city through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, where HUD funneled the funds through their, their existing home entitlement program requirements with added waivers of some of the home regulations and some new guidance such as no match requirements for home ARP, which match requirements are typically uh, required for the regular home program, an increase in the administration cap, they increased it by 15, by 5% for a total of 15%, whereas regular home has 10% of an administration cap, and prioritizing homeless individuals and families only, where in the regular home program, uh, uh, there's no set population that has to be served with exception to very low income residents. And in order to access all of the funds, HUD requires an allocation plan, which is independent of the entitlement grants, as the entitlement grants are streamlined through a five-year consolidated plan. Additionally, staff amended the 2021-22 uh, annual action plan as required by the citizen participation plan. So we have two distinctly different plans that we are submitting to HUD. Um, and this is the first time we've had to uh, submit an independent um, allocation plan. The primary, pur the primary purpose of the home ARP funds is to assist households and individuals who are homeless and at risk of homelessness um, by providing housing and rental assistance, support services, and non-congregate shelter as defined by uh, the program requirements and the homeless um, populations and subpopulations um, must be qualified by the definition of the McKinney-Vento Act. Some examples of, uh, of funding uses for um, this program is establishing non-congregate shelters, the development of permanent supportive housing, operational support to nonprofits, and tenant-based rental assistance. Staff and, uh, and some partners um, provided public engagement through two public hearings, both a public survey and a survey of homeless providers through the County of Ventura Continuum of Care and a 30-day public comment period to review the draft documents prior to submitting them to HUD. The outreach results were successful. There was a high priority of affordable housing development across each, um, each area of um, stakeholders and residents and developers. And they pri each prioritized housing development for the homeless population. The proposed funding plan to use the $2,356,218 is for the development of affordable housing with the remaining balance for the administration of the program. It is recommended that the City Council conduct a public hearing and receive public comments related to the Home ARP Allocation Plan, approve the Home ARP Allocation Plan as a Third Amendment to the 2021-2022 Annual Action Plan, authorize the City Manager and his designees to submit the Third Amendment to the 21-22 Annual Action Plan to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, including the required application, certifications, and other pertinent documents to complete the submitted items for federal approval. 
authorize the city manager and his designees to approve the appropriations for the Home American Rescue Plan funding for staff operations, approved projects, and related consulting contracts not to exceed $2,772,021. And authorize the city manager and his designees to execute the appropriate agreements with the Home American Rescue Plan partners, consultants, and contractors, allow the use in the administration of funds, and allow the adjustments to any future funding needs not to exceed 10% of the award if the programs require more or less funding to meet their objectives. This concludes this presentation, and thank you for your time.